fire is burning pretty clean. Uh, I'm gonna change out the insulation for from fire brick to ceramic fiberboard in a couple days here. So see if it actually changes anything or if the fire brick says good. All right, let's see the changes. So this used to be just a ceramic wool floor. Now there's two inch ceramic fiber board plus replaced fire bricks. Whoa. The ceramic uh, down in there as well in the primary burn area. Now we're going to add uh, another piece of ceramic fiber board here and one across there. Might put a little piece in here, but I suspect it will get knocked over very quickly. We'll see how that goes. Here you can see tertiary burn working incredibly well. This is roughly what I'm after as far as burn rate goes. It's not very fast in my uninsulated cabin. I want a long, slow burn, not a fast, hot burn. Uh, but this is with the damper just about all the way off. Just, or all the way plugged. Um, but yeah, this is kind of the effect after I just don't know that I can sustain it, to be honest. So here is the end piece that we're adding. I'm not going to add the other pieces for now because the burn chamber will be very small if we insert another thick piece at this height. Uh, the secondary burn chamber will just give this one a try and see how it goes. This is frozen and wet right now. Uh, so we'll check back and see. Um, so there you can see, hopefully, getting a lot of second and third burns. Uh, flames dancing, kind of being pushed around by the second secondary air. Um, yeah, it's working pretty good, but. I just don't know if I can run it this slow realistically for very long before it would go out or start leaking because it's not made exceptionally well. We'll see. Very much behaving like a rocket stove with the swirling, still getting burned at the, it's just so hard to see through the lens. It is getting burned um, after it swirls down there too. But, so I would say behaving like a rocket stove, it's got a splitter in there again, just a piece of fire brick, and then I put a piece of fire brick on top just to keep the fire lower a bit longer so it doesn't just go straight up the tube. Uh, we'll try some more stuff later, but very much getting that vortex rocket stove swirl going on. Here you can see tertiary burn working incredibly well. This is roughly what I'm after as far as burn rate goes. It's not very fast in my uninsulated cabin. I want a long, slow burn, not a fast, hot burn. Uh, but this is with the damper just about all the way off. Just, or all the way plugged. Um, but yeah, this is kind of the effect after I just don't know that I can sustain it, to be honest. So I just popped some fresh wood in. It burned very, very well uh, until it started running out of fuel. Right now it's going ballistic. I've got everything open. And uh, yeah, it's basically a blowtorch. Uh, I'll see what happens here. I'll slow it down. So 
see that calms it right down. <clears throat> I'm not sure why cutting off the oxygen or slowing down the oxygen intake seems to have much worse of an effect where it uh, just dies. It doesn't really slow the burn down. It might just be not insulated properly. Close it a bit more. And that's about as closed as it gets. And obviously it starts to burn very well. You can see in there maybe secondary air also burning quite well, as well as the tertiary air. It's very hot. I don't have my thermometer with me, but yeah, pretty, pretty good. Still has been running for a few hours. Uh, it's gotten very hot. Uh, so the steel's all heated up in there. It's burning very good here at this tertiary burn with the fire bricks especially on this side needs more insulation um, or I need to reroute some of the steel to get it hotter double it up so it has to travel longer uh, but overall pretty happy should calm down quite a bit more once some of this new wood burns out it might not even uh, be half the size of this at that point. Better for sleeping. Um, but yeah, overall pretty happy. It's only about five minutes after the last one. As you can see, a lot of that initial wood is kind of burned out real quick. And this is more what we're after for this evening. Because I don't want it to be very hot upstairs. So this is much more what we're after as far as clean burn, but nice and soft and slow. Here's the lid. Just outside. Just put some ceramic fiberboard in there. It's just a friction fit. We'll see what that does. So here's with the extra insulation in there. I don't know if it'll pick up on camera. I think you can see it kind of in the back there, how there's kind of a flame shooting across. Um, looks like it seems to have helped the side that has less insulation, i.e. glass, not a bunch of fire brick stacked against steel uh, to get a bit hotter. Uh, so running a bit better. I wouldn't say it's massively different, but, and that's probably more interesting than meaningful, but small improvements will probably be it for the year on this one. I uh, probably won't be back. So I'm running it a bit hotter, opened everything up. This is much more the effect that I'm trying to get where it's Almost looks like a gas burning stove, almost like a disconnect from the flame. Obviously there isn't the secondary air vertically there is still connecting to this horizontal burn. Uh, everything is just super on fire and same thing. Most of the air controls are it's so dark. Most of the air controls are pretty much shut down, little flaps, obviously poor quality. And uh, dampener and almost completely flat. And again, just really great second and third burns.